In this video, we'll take a look at set builder and interval notation. And there are two different ways of, uh, of mathematical notation for um, illustrating a, a specific group of numbers that have some specific characteristics or particular characteristics. So let's start with set builder notation. So it is, uh, it's a, a mathematical shorthand for accurately stating a specific group of numbers. And uh, there's lots of different categories of numbers. And I've listed a few here. There are more than this. These are four of the main ones. Uh, if you see the capital Z, and this is kind of a, like a, um, a funny script writing Z, it represents the set of integers. Uh, some people do use a capital I for integers, uh, but Z is the more mathematically accepted letter to use. R set, uh, represents the set of real numbers. Uh, N represents a the, the uh, set of natural numbers or the counting numbers, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, etc. Uh, Q is uh, the set of rational numbers, which is the ratio of an integer over another integer. And there are other ones as well. Those are four of the main ones. Now, an example of set builder notation looks like this. It's inside uh, these uh, squiggly brackets. And uh, so the way you read this, and I'll write this down the screen, is you start here, and this, this Greek letter epsilon uh, stands for is a member of or is contained in. So this x is a member of the set of integers is red. x is a member of the set of integers. So that red part, that's that's how you would actually read that in a in a phrase. Uh, x is a member, <coughs> excuse me, of the set of integers. And this vertical line stands for the words such that. And then after that, now it's written negative four is less than or equal to x. Now, if I say negative 4 is less than or equal to x, that's the same as saying x is greater than or equal to negative 4, because we're actually saying x is between two different numbers here. So x is greater than or equal to negative 4, and it's also less than 3. So, which means that x is between negative 4 and 3. Also includes negative 4, but it's just strictly less than 3. can't equal 3. So if, if we're talking about integers in that case, that would actually mean the integers negative 4, negative 3, negative 2, negative 1, 0, 1, and 2. Of course, 2 is less than 3. It's the highest integer less than 3. So that's what that, if we are to list all the numbers, that's the numbers that this set builder notation would actually represent. Now, interval notation is a similar method to set builder notation, but it uses brackets instead of inequality signs. Now, square brackets mean either less than or equal to, or greater than or equal to, and round brackets mean strictly just less than or, or greater than. Uh, if you're including a specific number at the end of your interval, then use the square brackets. If you're just saying it's greater than some number or less than some number, number but it's not equal to this particular number, like it was just less than 3, then you use a round bracket. Now, interval notation is only for the set of real numbers. So we won't bother uh, in any uh, integer examples for number two here. And so if I mean the same thing as this, except real numbers, uh, then th this, and this means all the real numbers, such that x is greater than or equal to negative 4, but less than 3. So in interval not notation, we write it like this. And it kind of looks like an ordered pair especially when you get into the round brackets. The square bracket means that, and on the left side, means that x can equal negative 4. So it's numbers from negative 4 up to, but not including 3. The round bracket means that it would be less than 3. So it goes from this number to this number. The square bracket means we include the negative 4. The round bracket means we go up to, but we don't actually get the 3. So you could include a number like 2.999. You could put any number of 9s you want after the, the 2. Uh, that would still be less than 3. So that's what the interval ta notation looks like that's equivalent to this. Now, there's different interval types. And we're going to take a look at uh, all four of them here. A closed interval means that you include the two numbers on either end. So in set builder notation, it would look like this. In interval notation, we would write a square bracket on either end because we mean all numbers between negative 5 and 2 and also including negative 5 and 2. And on a number line, it would look like this. So this is negative 5 and this is 2. So it means all numbers between negative 5 and 2 and also including the negative 5 and the 2. So it means all those numbers in there. Now, an open interval 
means that it's just numbers between, in this case, negative 4 and negative 1. So we don't include negative 4 and we don't include negative 1, but it's anything between. So numbers like negative 3.99999 is okay, and up to, uh, but not including negative 1. So like negative 1.005 or something like that, that's just barely below negative 1, but it is below negative 1. So on the number line, it would look like this. This is negative 4, and this is negative 1. The open circle means we don't actually include negative 4 or negative 1, but it's all numbers between those. So that's an, in an open interval. Now, a half open interval means that uh, one end is closed and one's open. So you include a number on one of the ends, but not the other. So that's what a half open interval means. So in the, uh, the first example here, we're including the 2, but we're only greater than the negative 6. So in interval notation, it would look like this. We would go above negative 6 up to and including 2. So above negative 6, so we don't actually include negative 6, but it's everything above that up to and including the number positive 2. Now this is an example of uh, one that has the uh, uh, including number on the bottom end or the left end. So x is greater than or equal to 0, but less than 3. So we write an interval not notation like this. So we're going to include the 0, so we put a solid dot there, but we don't include the 3, it's just below 3. So from 0 and including 0, up to, but not quite including 3. It has to be less than 3. Now, there's also infinite intervals. And infinite means that it just, like this one says, x is less than or equal to 2. So it's all numbers from 2 right down towards negative infinity. Now, negative infinity isn't an actual number. You can't say, well, I've got an infinite, infinite number or something, because it's not an actual number. So in uh, interval no notation, we write it like this. So you can't actually equal negative infinity. That's why the round brackets by the negative infinity. But uh, it goes as high as positive 2, because it's two from 2, positive 2, down towards negative infinity. The way we'd illustrate that in a number line is we would s shade in the 2, and then have an arrow just going, showing it goes to the left forever uh, down the uh, the inter integer number line. or the Actually, not integer number line, sorry. We're talking about real numbers here. Now, this one says x is greater than negative 3. So uh, both ends are open here. Uh, we're greater than negative 3, uh, and it continues up towards positive infinity. Again, can't equal positive infinity, so there's a round bracket by the infinity there. So negative 3 would be right here, and then we would shade uh, up towards and past uh, uh, towards to the right towards positive infinity. So those are all the different interval types and what they look like. And that's the end of the lesson.